risk-averse individual and fair play. So we'll do this using a simple example so that you understand who, uh, which individual is a risk-averse individual and uh, what does he do with a fair bet. We'll define what a fair bet is. So let us consider a following gap. Consider. A following gap right so there is a 60% chance that uh, you will win thousand dollars right it's so a 60% chance that you will win $1,000. And there is a 40% chance that you will win uh, $2,500, let's say. Right? So this is a gamble. And in this gamble, you will win either $1,000 or $2,500 with the different probabilities which I've given to you. So I think I've told you how to find out expected value in the last recording. So expected value of this gamble would be with 60% chance, you're going to win $1,000. With 40% chance, you're going to win $2,500, right? You calculate this and you will be getting $1,600, right? You calculate this and you will be getting $1,600. Now, at this point, I define what a fair gamble is. So, a fair gamble is one whose cost is equal to the expected value of the gamble. So, you have seen the gamble. You have found out the expected value. Now, if I ask you, that the cost of playing this gamble is 1600 it's a fair gamble right so let me just define that a fair gamble is the one whose expected income From the gamble is equal to the expected income without a gamble or the cost of playing that gamble right is equal to the cost of that gamble Is equal to the cost of that gamble. So if I ask you to pay $1,600, right, then that is the cost of this gamble and that is also the expected value. So I am asking you to pay just the expected value of the gamble. So that's a fair gamble. I mean, some books, they also define fair gamble in, in a way that is a gamble whose expected value is zero. So, its net expected value is zero. For example, you toss a coin, you get either head or a tail. So, if you get head, uh, you will get seven dollars, and if you get tail, you will lose seven dollars. So, the expected value of this gamble would be half. When you get head, you get plus seven. When you get tail, you get minus seven, and this is equal to zero. So, this is the expected value of the gamble. Is that is zero. We'll just take this definition that is expected income uh, of the gamble is equal to the cost of the gamble, right? The question is that how much, how much you would be willing to pay for this gamble, to play this gamble? How much you 
would you be willing to pay in order to play this gamble right in order to play this gamble you need expected utility for that hmm? you need the uh, expected utility for that you need to calculate expected utility for that so expected utility is the probability weighted average utility from each possible outcome of the gamble right so let me just define that and then i'll put it so let me just also put it so expected utility is with 60 percent chance you will be getting thousand dollars so the utility from thousand dollars is this u of thousand i don't know what the utility function is so i've just written it implicitly u of thousand with 40% chance, you'll be getting $2,500. So the utility which you get from $2,500 is this. That is what the expected utility is. So let me just define that and then I'll assume some functional form of the function. So expected utility is the probability weighted average utility. weighted average utility a person gets from each possible outcome of a gamble and you can call a gamble an, an uncertain situation from each possible outcome of a gamble or you can call this gamble an uncertain situation that's fine till now you just define what a gamble uh, sorry what expected utility is right fair enough now what you will do assume some functional form this utility function so i've just written it implicitly here suppose u is equal to root of w right so expected utility is 6 by 10 root of 1000 in this case because you'll be getting only 1000 so the utility which you get from 1000 is root of 1000 4 by 10 into the utility which you get from 2500 which is root of 2500 according to this utility function and when you solve this you get expected utility is 29 now this doesn't mean anything 29 and you need to compare utilities so this number is nothing so uh, whether you will play this gamble or not play this gamble you'll have to compare it with something right so if you get more expected utility from playing the gamble as compared to the situation when you are not playing the gamble that is will make you to play the gamble otherwise you won't now the question is that if if we are going to give you the expected value of the gamble what is the expected value of the gamble 1600 fair enough so if we tell you boss you are certainly going to get 1600 dollars now you tell me whether will you play this gamble or not so what will you do you will find out the expected utility from $1,600. Huh? And then you will compare it with the expected utility which you get from playing this gamble. Right? So please write this. If this person were given expected value of the gamble since 
sixteen hundred dollars for sure. This was the expected value of the gamble, na? For sure. This is the certain income. So I'm certainly going to give you this income. Now you tell me whether you play this gamble or not. So this is the certain income which you get. So he would get what utility? Utility is going to be u is equal to root of w, which is u is equal to root of 1600, which is 40. So the utility which he gets from certain income is more than the utility which he gets from playing the gamble. Playing the gamble. Why will he play the gamble? He will reject the gamble. So the utility from a certain income is 40. Utility from playing a gamble is 29. Why will he play the gamble? He will reject the gamble. Right? So this person is a risk averse individual because he is he is rejecting a fair gamble. How do we know it is a fair gamble? Because you're being asked to pay only $1,600 for playing the gamble, right? And if you do not play the gamble with this $1,600, your utility is more. So you are rejecting a fair gamble. Uh, so an individual who rejects a fair gamble is called a risk averse individual. That is it, right? So this shows. that this individual is risk averse. This shows that this individual is risk averse. Are you with me? Hmm? So from playing the gamble, you are getting 29, right, utility. From not playing the gamble, you're getting a higher utility. You are rejecting this gamble, right? So the individual who is unwilling, unwilling to make a fair gamble is a risk averse individual. So we'll write the definitions now. An individual who is unwilling To make a fair gamble is risk averse individual. Right? An individual who prefers the gamble to the guaranteed or payout, guaranteed fair payout. He's a risk-loving individual. So, so there's an individual who says that, fine, I mean, although you're giving me a certain income, but I still prefer gamble mode because the utility which he derives from playing the gamble is more than the utility which he derives from getting a certain income. So there, that individual is a risk-loving individual. Right? So a person who prefers The gamble to the guaranteed fair payout such a person Is a risk-loving individual, right? And the person who is indifferent between playing a gamble or not playing a gamble, right? Playing a gamble, uh, not playing a gamble means he's getting a fair payout. So you give him $1,600, fine, he's getting the same utility. 
you do not give him sixteen hundred dollars and he plays the gamble, he gets the same utility. So he's indifferent between playing the gamble and not playing the gamble. Such a person is a risk neutral individual. A person who is indifferent. between gamble and fair payout right such a person is a risk neutral individual such a person is a risk neutral individual right beta we'll take the discussion further tomorrow and we'll again define what risk loving and risk neutral are we might also use some diagrams in order to show that and we will take the discussion even further to tell you what risk premium is and how do you get certainty equivalent from a gamble right so thank you beta